guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my usual videos. I normally never do a video like this ever. And the reason I don't is because I personally don't like to talk about products that I don't like. And the reason I don't like to do that is because one, if someone loves that product that I don't like, it like hurts it might hurt their feelings because whenever people hate on products that I love, I'm like, don't talk about that product like that. So just know it all comes from love. I feel like it just brings this negative vibe on the channel and I don't like all that. But you know what? Today, I, I, I'm i gonna do it. I'm gonna talk about some products that just really didn't work out for me. Now that doesn't mean I didn't like the brand. I love all these brands that I'm talking about. I truly love these brands. It's just the particular product didn't work for me and I'm gonna tell you why. Take no offense and just know I'm not hating on the brand. I'm just really the product did not work. Anyways, we're gonna jump right in and get started. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for you leave for more awesome chitty chatty chatty chitty vitty chatty chitty. That sounded like titty. We're gonna jump right in and get started. The first product I'm gonna talk about was probably the most hyped up product on YouTube in YouTube history, the Ben Nye Banana Powder. Ooh, oh, oh. As soon as Kim Kardashian's makeup artist at the time admitted that this was the product he was baking her face with, Everybody and their mom went out and bought it, as did I. I bought this years ago, and you can see that like none of it's been used, and that's because whenever I tried baking my face with it, I realized that I was not Kim Kardashian, and that this yellow color does not work for everybody, and it darn sure didn't work for me. My skin is not quite as dark as hers, so the yellow didn't cancel out enough, and whenever I took a picture with it, it was literally just like banana. I looked like a freaking banana. And whenever, even when I came home after the night out wearing, it, I looked close in the mirror and it was like cakes of yellow under my eye. So I never touched the stuff again. I used my Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and she has never done me wrong. Moving right along, the next one is my Glam Glow. Now, I support Glam Glow more than they probably know. Like, I'm using their mask day in, day out. I talk about them on my channel, my Snapchat, my Instagram. Glam Glowed out. However, <laughs> not the product, it's really more so the container. This is actually the Mud to Foam Glam Glow Face Wash. It's 40 bucks, so it's a bit cheaper than the mask. And I was really excited to try it because the Super Mud Glam Glow is my favorite mud mask out on the market. So I knew I would love this, especially while I was having breakouts. The problem is the pump is faulty on it. And I thought it was just my pump, but I called someone else who had it. It's their pump too. So like the pump doesn't actually press out product. This is me pressing it as hard as I can. And that's how much product you get, literally. Normally I have to pump it like seven or eight times and I have to manually lift the pump back up because it gets stuck down and then I have to beat it. So I've had this for a really long, I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe that off. I've had this product for a really long time and I neglect using it because I can't get the crap to come out. I pay $40 for a wash. Can you please come out so I can use you? <laughs> Next up is this Bobbi Brown Gel Liner. Bobbi Brown is known as a really high-end brand and really nice makeup, and I was in the market for a good gel liner once I found out Morphe didn't have their black gel liner on sale anymore because that was my go-to liner. So I'm like, you know what? If I buy a Bobbi Brown Gel Liner, it's gonna work good because it's Bobbi Brown and it's not cheap. Boy, was I wrong. This was the worst gel liner. And as you can see, I, I worked hard at trying to get it to work. And I remember I was going out of town. So I'm like, I'll pack my brand new Bobbi Brown liner. And I was stuck for like almost an entire week with this liner, having to use it day in and day out. It's impossible to get a wing liner out of this because it's just, it's not fluid enough. Um, it's just too cakey and like too cracky and it didn't look good. Like I couldn't like fling out a wing with this gel liner. It was just like <sighs> Moving right along to a product I know a lot of people love and we're gonna talk about it and I'm gonna tell you why it didn't work for me, okay? So just hold on, just wait before you comment. I adore these shades so much, I think they're great. These are too pigmented. And I love Lorac. I've used Lorac before I was on YouTube. Like, but their contour powder, I don't like it to be this pigmented because it's very important that you don't get too much product on your brush whenever you're trying to contour because then you take, it's just so unnatural after that. Like you're just like, Pff. and then you have to try to blend all that out and it doesn't work out. And time after time I tried these and it was just way too much product coming off. Even when I used a really light hand, it was just almost too powdery and too pigmented for me. So these didn't work, 
These are the best setting powders ever, so I like 50% of this palette, and the other 50% I didn't like. Next up is my uh, product by NARS, and I feel annoying having to keep saying, like, I love this brand, because I don't want to spread any hate or for you guys to get a misconception on the brands. NARS is one of the best makeup brands on the market. The mascara was a no-go. This is their Audacious Mascara in Black Moon. So whenever I got this little sample in, I was overjoyed to try it because I love everything I touch that's created by NARS, including their lip glosses. I used to save my pennies to buy NARS makeup because it's not cheap, but I was highly disappointed. And I even like these plastic spoolie brushes, but I felt like it was like too watery and it wouldn't even coat my lashes. You could, It wouldn't lift them, it wouldn't coat them, it wouldn't build them up. It really did nothing for my lashes, so this mascara was a total bust for me. Next is another product by Bobbi Brown that is not affordable and these have been hyped up on YouTube so much and I'm like, can we stop hyping them up because you know it doesn't work. I'm not kidding, I'm like not happy about this. I paid a lot of money for this at Sephora. If I would hold it the right way, that would help. This is a shimmer brick and I know you've heard of the Bobbi Brown shimmer bricks. So I bought this one and I bought it in sunset pink which I honestly thought was the prettiest one and I have dug my brushes in them and I have tried it's almost like I'm putting nothing on my cheek nothing it's entire I don't know if they're meant to be that sheer but I would never pay that much money for something that's this sheer um, definitely not worth the money Use it as a blush, use it as a highlight, whatever it is. You're not going to be able to see it on your face, at least not on my face. Maybe if it, um, my skin was a bit lighter, it might work. But overall, just, just for the price, I expect a lot more. The next product, here I go again. I love this brand. Make It Forever is the the shiz. And this bronzer is everybody's favorite bronzer, I feel. However, for me, and I tried it a lot, okay? I couldn't get the bronzer to come out of the package. I don't know if mine was too compressed in there. Like the Lorac one was too powdery. This one, I'm like digging my brush in it and like you couldn't see anything on my cheek. This one, by the way, is number number 20M. It would never show up on me. I couldn't get the bronzer to come out of the package. I was super, super sad about it because it was everybody's favorite bronzer. So I'm like, it's gonna be my favorite bronzer, duh. However, it's not my, let me just put it this way. I don't hate this product. I, I will use I will continue to use it. I'm not getting rid of it. I want to continue to play with it, but it just really didn't work out for me. And so I've been neglecting it for so long because of that. I don't know. I feel like I should just keep playing with it. I may have mentioned this one before on my channel as a really big disappoint. I had always seen MAC artists use this, like, and swear by it, but I went to go clean my brushes with it, and I couldn't be more disappointed. My brush shampooer works 20 times better from Morphe.com, and it's way more affordable, and it whoops this product's butt, and my spot brush cleaner whoops this product's butt. This is just dang sure ain't worth the money. Like, I would never buy this again, and the only reason I'm used it down in here is because I did pay a lot for it, so I'm like, we gotta use it. But it just doesn't get the product out of the brush brushes. Next product that was disappointing is this Glam Glow. Here I go again with Glam Glow, but it's the matte lip treatment. So it's supposed to be a lip plumper. Um, I tried this out three or four times. And it's actually like super dope packaging. Look at that. And then you pull it out and you put it on your lips and it's supposed to, you know, give you a little plump. It did nothing for my lips which sucked. I don't know why I didn't return it, but anyways, I love the theory of it. I love Glam Glow. So again, I was like, this is going to work out great. However, it did not work out great and um, it did nothing for my lips. That's all I have to say. I've tried it a bazillion times and it did nothing. Please comment down below if you tried this and it worked for you. Please let me know if I'm doing something wrong. Tell me your story with the Glam Glow um, so we can try it out again. Anyways, that is it for my very overrated and disappointing products. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope it wasn't too negative. I didn't want it to be a negative video or like a hateful video. <laughs> this is a happy place, okay? Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and I hope to see you all in my next video.